Yo, yo, what's cracking, you two? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got that he got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is all you guys. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called Certified. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Guys, very important platform we got here on the 11th of april guys they're gonna be launching the first security database and rating of top 1500 cryptocurrencies on their website cer.live they want to gather a lot of statistics about security of crypto ecosystems did you guys know that 32 percent of projects which did security audits of code now use another code of smart contracts that's a little weird isn't it guys doesn't seem too transparent either another weird factor as well guys is that 20 percent of projects have failed to fix critical bugs after they've been identified through an audit all of this stuff guys this platform certified is going to be checking over seven months so now people can check the project security before investing in it so on their website here guys on the top tabs we have different cryptocurrency ratings which of course is going to be coming live after their countdown is done you can whitelist for that guys you can put your information in there and get them to figure that out get them to grant you access when it is live they also have the exchange ratings tab have. Here we have the top 100 exchanges by cybersecurity ratings. They also have their certification tab, the pen test tab, bug bounty tab, and their about section. We're going to go over all of that, guys, but let's start with the exchanges ratings first. Now, guys, we can see that crypto.com is number one on this list. They have received their certification as well, guys. Their security rating is triple A, their penetration test check, proof of funds check, and their bug bounty check as well other big names on the list kraken which is one of my personal favorites guys we do use kraken very often and they have flying color ratings across the board as well white bit is there cryptology binance us binance international coinbase gemini huobi coinflex blockchain.com Bitrex, Bitso, Bybit, Currency, Ascendex, the list goes on, guys. To give you an example of some exchanges that are not certified, we got names like Narcasa, BitBNS, Stex, BW, Altili, DragonX, Qtrade, Hokins, OKEX Korea, BTC Square, and again, the corresponding ratings for the security on these are Cs. They failed their penetration test, their proof of funds have not been verified, and their bug bounty, there is no check mark, guys. These platforms simply are not reliable under certified's guidance and criteria. Now, it is very important to note, guys, that you can rank them by their rankings or by their solvency. So, of course, when we hit the solvency tab, everything changes. We have the exchanges, the certification again, their security rating. But this time, guys, we also have a trust score, their Bitcoin balance, their Ethereum balance, their total balance, and their funds insurance. Taking the top leaders again, as an example, guys, trust score rating for crypto.com. 10 out of 10. Bitcoin balance, we have 395.32 million. Their Ethereum balance, 1.15 billion. Their total balance, 1.54 billion. And of course, they're in funds insurance. Should be duly noted here, guys, that Kraken's Bitcoin balance is 2.20 billion, guys. That's a lot of Bitcoins. Their Ethereum, a little less than crypto.com, but they got 220 million Ethereum. Their total balance, 2.42 billion, which is more than crypto.com. Moving on to some of the not certified exchanges. Again, we see like their trust scores are five to seven to zero. Bitcoin balance is listed as not applicable, either that it's hidden or not transparent or simply non-existent. I really like this website, guys, because they're showing us the exposure of these platforms and what exactly is going on with it. Moving on to the certification tab. This, of course, is the website's name, Certified. So if we scroll down here, we see their criteria. Uncertified penetration test for one year 
year. Nope. Proof of funds. Nope. Bug bounty. Nope. If they're certified by one star, their penetration test one year, somewhat successful, somewhat proof of funds successful as well, but still no bug bounty. Two star certified. Yep. They passed their penetration test. Their proof of funds test as well, but still no bug bounty. If they're three out of three star certified, they have their penetration tests covered, their proof of funds covered, and their bug bounty has also been covered. Their cybersecurity score. This is a combination of server security, user security, preventative security, and historical hack cases. Under server security, guys, they have aspects like SSL, TLS, WAF, CDN, DNS, SEC, SPF, open ports, HTTP security headers, SpamDB, cookie security flags under the user security tab we have two-factor authentication captcha password requirements device management anti-phishing codes which are a whitelist previous hack cases and preventative security we have bug bounty penetration test iso 2701 and funds insurance penetration testing this is also known as ethical hacking and it is a critical tool for analyzing the security of it systems of course guys if someone is able to perpetuate ethical hacking on a system it's going to give us a really good idea of how easily this platform can be penetrated the objective of a penetration testing is to identify ways to exploit vulnerabilities to circumvent or defeat the security features of system components by simulated attacks in a controlled environment guys carried out by third-party security specialists who employ the same techniques as hackers located outside the system infrastructure penetration tests submitted for certification should meet generally recognized requirements now what are those requirements you're probably asking well guys pen test penetration testing or pen test is an authorized imitation of external attacks on information systems and applications like desktops web and mobile of the company with the purpose to find vulnerabilities and analyze the level of technical security the result is a multi-layered report containing an analysis of the actual security of the business against external attacks and practical recommendations to limit threats and eliminate vulnerabilities. Number one, gathering information. Number two, threat modeling. Number three, vulnerability analysis. Number four, exploitation. Number five, post-exploitation. And number six is reporting. When it comes to their methodology, following steps have been applied like reconnaissance, configuration and deploy management testing, identity management testing, authentication testing, authorization testing, session management testing, data validation testing, client side testing, error handling, business logic testing, exchange specific functionality testing. When it comes to functionality, it has to be checked. Authentication, verification, account, security settings, wallet trading, and API. Some of their penetration test validity requirements, the recognance, configuration and deployment management testing, identity management testing, authentication testing, authorization testing, session management testing, data validation testing client side testing error handling business logic testing exchange specific functionality testing number three is proof of funds guys another important criterion to be certified is the proof of funds as claimed by the cryptocurrency exchanges this guys as i mentioned in the previous screen as what they were showing as the btc balances their ethereum balances and the total amount of funds that they have on the actual platform insolvent exchanges guys can lead to massive damages to users especially when withdrawals exceed available funds to the exchange to combat this guy cert requires exchanges to have identifiable wallets a wallet addresses owned by the cryptocurrency exchange must be publicly disclosed and provable on blockchain explorers their minimum funding limit certification of cryptocurrency exchanges will only be conducted for exchanges with a wallet balance of more than one million dollars us in ethereum and bitcoin terms when it comes to their bug bounty the fourth component of certification is a live bug bounty program which an activity aimed at finding vulnerabilities by leveraging the power of ethical hackers community a pool of thousands of individuals with varied skills and backgrounds produces robust results and thanks to continual testing crypto exchanges can improve the quality of their infrastructure by eliminating high frequency functional bugs before they can do significant damage self-hosted bug bounty programs are evaluated twice less than third-party managed 1.25 from 2.5 points currently guys they don't provide a certificate 
for self-hosted programs. A self-hosted bug bounty program may be evaluated as third-party managed if the platform provides a review from a well-known third-party auditor company. Under the bug bounty tab, guys, we have more information regarding this definition here. Bug bounty program is a way to receive reports on security flaws from hackers and independent security researchers before cyber criminals can exploit those vulnerabilities. A combination of periodic penetration tests and an active bug bounty program are the best solution to ensure an organization has a diverse pool of testers and continuous coverage. So what do we have here, guys? We got hackers and then they find and report a bug and we got the rewards that are optional and to companies in exchange for. When it comes to processing workflow, Number one is to eliminate critical vulnerabilities. Number two is to learn what hackers know about your security. Number three is to reduce the risk of cyber criminals. Number four is the continuous crowdsourced security testing. Now, how do you launch a program? You prepare, choose the type of a bug bounty, define the scope, set the rewards, establish triage, craft the policy, build the internal process, select a provider. When it comes to the launch, start small, analyze, exchange feedback. When it comes to refining, scale, improve. The bug bounty validity requirements. The policy should be published either on the exchange site or any trusted bug bounty platform. Bug bounty policy should allow intrusive testing. The whole infrastructure should be in scope. Should include structured in scope, out of scope, and clear program rules. It should have at least hall of fame of bug hunters should have clear statistics on reports, rewards, SLAs. When it comes to the cybersecurity ranking and certification platform, all security reviews and assessment perform according to a unique and constantly improving methodology consisting of 18 plus indicators based on the best practices of cybersecurity protection and conducted by the team of high-skilled researchers and white hackers. Over 302 exchanges have been audited, 208 certificates issued, and 139 billion plus balance have been tracked. So why CER guys? Since 2018, they've reviewed 270 crypto exchanges and performed dozens of complex security assessments of well-reputed exchanges resulting in the SIR score has become an important indicator of trust for tens of billions of crypto users around the world. They keep their hands on the latest trends, monitor deep and dark internet to understand why and how hacking incidents occur in order to predict and prevent future attacks. When looking at their roadmap of what they've already crushed, guys, they were launched in 2017. In 2018, over 200 exchanges were listed on CER. CER evaluated the importance of cybersecurity in 2019. And in July of 2020, they had their partnership with CoinGecko. September 2020, CER became a data provider for Chainlink and in 2021, cybersecurity marketplace. Apparently 20 plus million CoinGecko users trust certified and are using this platform guys to judge what next to be using. They became a part of CoinGecko's trust score in July of 2020. Shout out to all my students. I love you. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Hotel Gang. Thank you for always your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys, we are an impartial channel, so whether your opinion is negative or positive, we'd be more than happy to hear it. That being said, guys, class is now dismissed. We'll see you in our next video. Professor Crypto out.